In this lesson, we'll talk about some of the other types of marking menus that can be found in Maya. Okay, so the process of using marking menus for moving around and accessing things inside of Maya is really, really useful. And there's actually a number of instances where Maya use, uses these uh, marking menus as a way of really, really saving time. So, for example, if we are working with something like a couple of polygon objects here, uh, when it comes to working with polygons especially, uh, there are a number of marking menus that we can access that will let us do a lot of uh, common things or uh, may help us access a number of tools that normally we would have to dig through a lot of these different menus to find. So, for example, we have a certain type of marking menu that is uh, specifically designed to help us convert and adjust the selections that we make on polygon objects. Uh, so, for example, if we come in here and let's say we grab a handful of faces here. So, I'll just grab a face and then shift, double click the one next to it so we can grab this entire loop of faces. Now, there may be certain instances where maybe we want to take this selection and then convert that to a selection of edges or maybe convert that to a selection of vertices or even UVs in a certain situations. So, to do that, what we can do is control right click and you can see now we have this context menu that pops up that lets us specifically start to adjust things. So, for example, we could change to edges and then go to edges. So, now my face selection has now been converted to edges. Okay, if we come in and maybe grab a set of edges, we can once again control right click and we can maybe set this to be converted to vertices. And now you can see my previous edge selection has been changed to vertices. So, this starts to become really, really useful. For example, we can start to come in, let's say we grab some edges and we can control right click and choose grow selection. And now that will basically start to grow this selection uh, and expand it from this row outward. So, it becomes really, really useful. A lot of these things that we, we can perform these same functions, but they're hidden among lots of these other menus. So, coming in here and being able to just control right click on a selection uh, becomes really, really useful. Now, there's a number of different marking menus that we can also access. So, what we just looked at was this convert selection marking menu. We also have a special polygon marking menu that is designed for helping us work with polygon objects. So, if we come in here and let's say select a handful of faces, if we use the keyboard shortcut shift and then right mouse button, so shift, right click, you can see now we have a lot of tools that are specifically uh, going to be shown to us based on whatever selection we currently have active. So if I'm working on polygon faces, shift, right click, and now we have a lot of modeling related tools that are related to working with polygon faces. So we can extrude a face from here, which is very easy to do. We can come in and grab a handful of faces and let's say maybe we want to um, either cut those or maybe wedge those. Uh, we can maybe extract these faces out if we want to make a separate object. Basically, a lot of the commands and functions that we can find in Edit Mesh or Mesh, we can find those in this context menu. So what's nice is it will actually change itself based on our current selection. So if I come in and select, let's say, a handful of edges here, if I once again shift right click, now we're uh, seeing commands that are responsible and linked to edge based commands. So bevel edges, soften edges, extrude edges, delete edge, or whatever the case may be. So this is actually a really, really useful way to work, especially if you're doing a lot of modeling related work. Um, saves us the trouble of having to dig through a lot of these and, and find the appropriate command. We also have a little bit more of an interactive way of accomplishing some of these things with the poly brush marking menu. So if we take a look, that's the keyboard shortcut O plus the left mouse button. So if I come in here and let's say grab a face and then press and hold the O key on my keyboard and while holding that, press and hold the left mouse button. Now we have the poly brush. So now we can come in here and let's say we want to uh, maybe do something like an extrude. So we should be able to come in here and go to something like modify or let's actually go back to increase complexity and now we can start to extrude maybe these faces. Now at this point it's going to basically switch us to a brush. So if I press and hold the B key on my keyboard, B for brush, pressing and holding the B key, I can come in here. Oh, let's try that once again. O, left mouse button, increase complexity, extrude faces. There we go. So now I can come in here and just simply paint 
a selection as soon as I let off my mouse button now we have these faces that are extruded for us so we come in here and dial up that thickness or whatever the case may be um, so this does become again something fairly useful just O left mouse button and now we can start to take a look at uh, a couple of really common polygon modeling related tools but again this is going to be based on a brush so if I come in and let's say bevel now I can come back in here just paint with a few strokes of my brush now it's really important that you paint very very carefully because as soon as you let off your mouse it's going to apply that bevel command so it's maybe not quite as easy to work with very very precise selections but if you just have a handful of objects that you need to very very quickly apply a command to this can be somewhat useful now we can also start to apply some commands from a marking menu if we are working with polygons and we want to start to use some UV specific operations but again with this same type of a brush mentality we could come in here and again just O in this case O plus the middle mouse button so O middle mouse button and now we have our poly UV brush so let's say we want to modify some UVs um, let's actually create some UVs first so we can go to a UV projection and then maybe a cylindrical map and again it's going to ask us to paint a selection if you want to adjust your brush size just press and hold the B key on your keyboard and adjust your brush size accordingly we can come in here paint with a selection and as soon as we let off it's going to apply that cylindrical map that we just told it to so again maybe not quite as precise as some other tools but uh, for being able to very quickly come in here and work with a handful of objects and make that selection it does become a really really useful tool to have we can also do something similar with keyframes if we want to uh, come in here and start working with object animations if we use the keyboard shortcut shift s and then left mouse button so shift s left mouse button we can come in here and access either keys so we could uh, set a key we could convert something to a key we could delete a keyframe depending on what keyframe we're on on our timeline uh, we could cut and paste keys this becomes again really really useful if we go over to our tangents we can see that we can start to convert keyframes and other F curves to splines to stepped uh, a lot of the same common sorts of uh, commands and other things that we could start to do maybe through the graph editor because we do have access to all of these same options and attributes here but again it just puts a lot of these same things right in front of you in the context of a marking menu okay so that's a look at some different types of marking menus that we have available inside of Maya some of these you may find very very useful for example things like the um, modeling related one where we can just shift right click and access a lot of common modeling related tools uh, but some of these other ones you may find maybe not quite as useful in your day-to-day -day work but uh, feel free to explore these and I think you'll find that these uh, will definitely start to save you some time as you begin working with your own projects and your own scenes inside of Maya